one. Oh man, the Phoenix 2.0. Now I know I'm a little bit late on this, but I rocked this blaster, you guys know, for probably like a year and a half. I love the MOSFET version because it had the adjustability, right? You could adjust the FPS, you could adjust your toggle switch. So one toggle switch could be single, the next one could be three round bursts, two round bursts, full auto. There was a lot of functionality in this blaster. There was just some of the ergonomics where I was like, oh, I want to change it. One of them being, you guys know what, the suppressor up here. Now again, this does nothing as far as accuracy or anything like that is more cosmetic but i wanted to opt and change the back kind of uh, stock that was on there so the stock original one was not bad i just wanted to have more adjustability with the current stocks that i have whether it's ones like this oh this is on there tight ones like this where you have an end strike attachment you know whether it's by adventure force or nerf whatever it is you can just put it on there and it's going to be a little bit more ergonomic for maybe how you like it right so i thought that was kind of neat but I wanted to go a step further and use something like a buffer tube on back here for some people who like those too. So let's check that out. So I went ahead and designed one of these two as well. So you can still use kind of the buffer tube style in case you guys have these, cause these are like super cheap, but you can adjust it to your liking as well. And man, it really does, uh, gosh, it really does just change the feel of the blaster over the stock. So let's hop over to the table here so you guys can take a look at kind of these pieces here and we'll uh, we'll check it out. So here we are on the bench, guys. We got the uh, the kit here that I wanna show you Then I wanna show you quickly how easy it is to install on your Phoenix 2.0s. So uh, the kit is gonna come with both the buffer tube version as well as the end strike attachment version. Now this uses all the same hardware as the stock uh, version did. So pretty much you just pop off the back version, take out your two screws, put these on and you're good to go. No cutting, no gluing. You know, you could swap back to your old stock if you wanted to. So you got your buffer tube style here. You have your end strike piece here. You got the two cap pieces here. And depending on, again, which one you guys like, I mean, it can be something like this. Now the cap piece is just gonna go on something like this. It just makes it so it holds down. Oh, if I can push that in there. Um, it's just gonna help hold down your, uh, your kind of battery tray here. It's not really needed, but I just wanted to hold down that battery tray. And you can see it uses the same two uh, mounting hole screws here that your stock did. And if you ever don't want this, you pretty much just slide that piece off, throw your stock attachment back on and you're good to go. So, you know, you can adjust it to whatever your liking is here. I think that's kind of neat. Or if you're like me, I like a lot of the end strike attachment points, whether they're made by Adventure Force or they're made by Nerf. But yeah, this one is super simple. Just pop that off. Again, you can throw it back on there. Throw this back on there, whatever you, you know, whatever you want to do, whatever you think is fit. I kind of like this, but the buffer tube, I know a lot of people like that. So if you guys want to check it out, go check it out on our Etsy or our website. Again, you can get the, uh, you get the buffer tube version and the end strike and two caps in the kit. That way, again, you can pick and choose whatever is easiest for you at that time. So let me know what you guys think. I'm always curious. Thanks again, Fox fans.